my Megas Basilius Antiochus III, I have compiled the work of my father. Our great armies have marched from Parthia to Greece, from the inhospitable sea to the depths of the Nile. My father was obsessed with our armies, with our victories and defeats. When he died, among his possession were reels of scrolls with notes and writings from battles and fronts, notes from generals, officers, and even your own father on the tactics of our enemies. We have fought deadly cataphracts in the north, rabid Celts in Anatolia and Thracians some years ago. And we have laid low the famous phalangites of Egypt. My father studied all of this and he had begun to build an idea. An idea of a new army, one that can best the horsemen or the companions of Greece. One that could shred the heavy footmen of Thrace and lay low the pikemen of Macedon. Our armies have been successful, yes. And to reform our armies seems almost folly after all our great victories. But you can't ignore the rumblings abroad, the rise of Rome, the strength of the Antigonids, the wealth of Carthage. If we do not reform, then victory turns to defeat, and our armies will be forgotten by the gods. So great Basilius, I ask that you let me send out my finest officers, riding with copies of mine and my father's plans, to all the great recruitment centers of our empire to Sardis and Pergamon, to Antioch and Seleucia, and to Karakata in the north. They will oversee the birth of our new armies, so that we remain the greatest nation under the gods. So, great Basilius, what say you to change? Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are back with more Seleucid campaign uh, in RTR Imperium Serectum. We actually have uh, Tiana here ready to upgrade. I did not realize that at all. Um, and we're looking pretty healthy, aren't we? That's very annoying from Atro Patine. Just a scar in the middle of us here. But um, everywhere else, we're looking pretty chunky and pretty healthy. Once we've got this boxed off, and this bit boxed off will be absolutely glorious, won't we? We will look fantastic all the way up to the Caucasus. Looks great down here now. This is all our land. So we are looking pretty healthy. Uh, and Anatoly is our big next project. But then, of course, it's on to Greece, on to the motherland, ready to kill them all. So, uh, last time we got the reforms, of course, which is great. <laughs> so, so happy with that, we're coming all the way up there for retraining. It's a long, long way, isn't it? It's a very long way, uh, but we're going to have to do it. We could even send a general down here, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Just for some rebel settlements and the last uh, and the last couple of uh, uh, Ptolemaic settlements, which I believe one is like we can see it there. I don't know why how I missed it. It's in here somewhere. And there's another one there. Yeah, there we are. So we've got to get rid of them. I think everything else we're done. We just need to do some building. Now, I've had a look around a little bit. And Smyrna. Big Smyrna. Um, we are going to actually build the armorer here. So that we've got a couple of places we can retrain our armies for extra armor. Because Sardis would be great. Pergamon, we are building this now, though. Um, which, obviously, yeah, it's going to take a while to get built. Um, and we have Antioch building that as well, so we can start pumping out cataphracts there. Up in the north, the far north, Karakata is only a minor city, but once we've taken some of these ones, uh, I think in here, yeah, they're large cities. I don't believe any of them are huge cities. 
but large cities is good nonetheless. We probably won't be able to recruit uh, cataphracts from there, but we will be able to recruit some other go other guys. So let's uh, let's do some building, and I think we'll just refocus back on the list. See whether we can start filling the list out. Damascus still a bit unhappy, which is a bit annoying. So I'll get the shrine to Tyke, which has the extra trade income, which is pretty nice. Dura Air Europas, good settlement. Let's go for the spice road in there. That'll probably create quite oh 680. <laughs> we do need to build those when we do have the opportunity. Obviously, maybe not at uh, the other one that I didn't build it. But everywhere else, Uruk. Let's go for. There's not really much in Uruk that we want to build right now. Um, go with the Temple of Tyke. Let's go for Alexandria Carax down here. Its port doesn't actually trade with anyone, I believe, because it's too far away. So we don't want to upgrade the ports. Let's go for the Great Agora, though. That'll be good. Get some extra trade income. Then over here, right in the center of Anatolia, let's go for public baths. And then I'm going to come off this. Tyana needed to upgrade, didn't it? There we are. Tayana, let's get that in there. It's going to become a large city. Pretty nice. We've also got this battle to do, so I've got to remember that. So we've got quite a chunk of settlements building right now. Let's build the trade caravan over here. How much money is that going to bring? It's only a 2,000. Yeah, it's, it's still really, really cost efficient. Really good building. Goodbye. Let's potentially go for the execution square. How much corruption? Yeah, we've got 600 corruption here in Goodbye. So let's go for the execution square. It's going to bring 100, and it's only cost six, 1,600. So 16 turns it's going to uh, pay for itself, which is pretty good, honestly. Uh, Stakra over here, I don't believe. Oh, their port is trading. So let's go for the second upgrade to the port. Then down here, Alexandria Ariane. Let's go for the Spice Road again. Nicomedia. Let's go for some farming. Uh, Kaizikos. Go for some more farming. Then Adramitian. Let's go for the large mines. We might as well, huh? Alexandria Choa, uh, Troas. Let's go for the trader. Uh, Raithu. Let's go for the crop rotation. Thyatira. More crop rotation, please. And then let's get that. And then we'll have about... Yeah, we'll get down to just below 10 grand. So let's build a couple more of these if we can. Uh, Saros, let's build that there. Eight grand, eight and a half grand. So, let's just check that we are actually recruiting here. No, we're not. So what I think we need to do is start recruiting another army. I know it seems overkill, but we're making enough money, aren't we? It really doesn't matter. So let's go for the Thorakitai. Pretty nice. 12 melee attack with the sword. 15 missile attack. 35 defense is not a huge amount. Uh, actually, no. Do we want them or the Reformed Swordsman? Oh, we want the Reformed Swordsman. Look at those boys. Yeah, 100%. 45 defense. They're going to be very useful against the Romans. Let's queue in three. Um, and then we'll be good. We also do need to get all these boys across to uh, Crete. So let's get them down there. Oh, and ships should be able to get in there. Come on, guys. I don't know. Why is it uh, struggling a little bit right now? And, uh, yeah, we can't move now. So I've got to remember that those guys exist. Now, let's uh, let's fight some Celts, shall we? I don't believe we've actually fought the Celts at all in this game. Oh, they got three generals as well. Now, I believe they are cavalry generals. Now, this army does have some high pastists, but it's not going... Not got a huge amount of, uh, like, Chalka Speeders and stuff. It's one of our weaker armies. But it is very experienced. So, I'm hoping the experience, even a goal experience for the Ropperoi. So, I'm hoping this experience can really propel us forward and help us beat back these goddamn generals. We'll see what generals they are anyway when we get into the battle. I believe they are cavalry ones. So, let's see. I will see you there, guys. Here we are. <clears throat> this will be bloody. And this is a Celtic settlement. Very nice indeed. Bit of a different fight that we're going to have. 
A lot more ways into the town square. And more ways of getting them off the town square as well. So, let's go. It is very protected, the, all the walls. <clears throat> so, um, why can you not pick up... Oh, you already have ladders. Okay, that makes sense. You guys go there. So, get this guy is a bit too damaged. So, you can go with them. And then, I think we will probably... We'll send up some of our experienced infantry. I was going to say, why can you not take the ladders? <laughs> and we'll all just come down this. Well, you guys can go there. Let's see. They do have some people on the walls, of course, as usual. As you would expect. Everyone else can stay here. That's fine. Uh, you guys. Who's on the wall, actually? Now, we'll leave you for now. You can stay there with the ladders just to scare them. We're actually fighting Celts, guys. I love it. Hopefully, we can destroy... Uh, ooh. Little cabbage uh, cauliflower patch. Very nice. Oh, we do have a... Oh, yeah. We do have two dismounted generals. And we've got a, a cavalry general. So, let's have a look at how good these guys are. 34, 24, 46... Yeah, not quite as good as our Greek general, but these dismounted generals. 53 defense! Hmm. That's pretty nice. He's also got... He's also got single gold experience on both of those boys. Probably because they fought a million draw-out battles. How good are our guys now, though? I mean, oh, look at that defense, bro. That Our guys are, like, similar. Atheroporoi are similar to the... Uh, high past this at this point. In fact, just better. Just not better morale. They're actually best. 20 melee attack for the Theroporoi. Pretty strong, I'm going to lie. Pretty powerful. Right, let's uh, speed this up. But yeah, we need to destroy those generals. Hopefully we can surround them. If they're on the town square, that's going to be quite a brutal, brutal battle for the town square. Right, you guys, you are the most experienced. You are the boys. You should be ready to fight. Get this guy up the walls. Come on. Come on, man. Hurry up. You're going to be left behind. <laughs> that one is the uh, the Blackadder uh, character. <laughs> you guys go through. You guys Let's quickly take that one. You guys get up on the walls. Should be able to fire quite far. Now go through. And ideally, we want you like here. Be good. Yeah, we should be shredding these slingers with our gold experience boyos. Oh dearie me. They have been absolutely vaporized. Yes, that's what we like to see. You guys there? Are you guys still technically running? No. See how many we can kill then. Just by firing down from the walls. Now we're going to send these guys forward. We're going to bring our high pastists as well. We do need our... Although they're elite. We do need our high pastists getting a bit of extra uh, experience, don't we? So it would be nice to get them into the fight. And the Thropoi behind for the Javis. General, of course. I don't think we'll need the Zistaphoroi. But we'll bring them close by just in case. All right, boys. If you want to... They're getting shredded. Right, boys, quick. Not, well, I mean, you're not running, but it's fine. <laughs> right, you guys, <clears throat> with all your experience, let's come around here. Actually, in fact, both of you. I'm going to send you with them as well. And you can go and flank from that side. Right, ideally, we want you to run. <laughs> Don't think you can get through these little bits. Kind of can, actually. This is a bit more of a uh, a wonky old way to get up there. Right, high past this. We'll bring you in. And then you boys will bring you in as well. All on fire at will. You go on fire at will as well. And let's speed it up. Let's see whether they decide to charge us. If they don't, we will fire at them and then force them down the hill. So, guess not. We're going to have to come and uh, poke the bear a little bit. 
Uh, right, high pass this. Get behind over here. And then we'll send you boys there. These guys can come up here and hopefully start firing at them. Where's my general as well? Actually, you know what? Let's get our cavalry. Let's get the cavalry in here, just in case. Just in case. Bit messy right now, isn't it? But it's fine. Come on, boys. Let's go. Now we've taken them. You guys can come down here. Not too worried about you. You do have both. Do have decent experience. I don't think it'll be too worrying. What I'm thinking is, if we come here, a bit of a weird way to go about it, but it's fine. Uh, you guys get there. I pass this. I kind of want to get around here, and then these boys can come right behind. And hopefully, we'll be able to fire at them with the archers from here. And draw them into coming to fight us, which it looks like we're doing. Come on, boys. Fire at them. I mean, if anything, I want to be able to fire at that cavalry. I don't want to fight all these guys on the town square. Fire at them. What are you? Just Galatian infantry. You're trash. Right, come back. Come back. I mean, worst case scenario, we're just going to go and crush them down here. Squeeze them to death. Uh, and I think... Okay. Maybe it looks like they're going for the charge. So, no, it doesn't. Right, I passed this and you boys. If we can get, like, around here for the sneaky sneaky... They will go there. I don't know whether they will. Right, there we are. And then all you Thoroperoi get behind. And, uh, yeah, you boys get forward in there. Let's see what happens here. They're a bit messy with the way they're moving, but it's fine. I don't know what they're doing with their cavalry. Cavalry, come up. I mean, if we get around here, that would be quite good, actually. Get there. No, don't go that way. Go this way. Wait, can you not go this way? There. You can go there. I don't know what you're thinking you're doing. Oh, here come the Galatian infantry, finally. Kind of want to save the uh, Javis for later, so... I mean, you guys can fire your last Javis if you want. Uh, in case you're wondering, like, why I'm taking so long... Well, let's just go and crush them. This is going to take... This is going to take ages otherwise. Right. I don't know what they're doing. Just come and, like, fight, bro. No. Get around. What are you doing, guys? Like, what is the pathing going on here? Can you come this way? Why is one of you going all the way around there? What the fuck, bro? I don't understand that. If I told you to go attack them, what would you do? You'd all do that, would you? That's terrible. Ah, <sighs> well... If we can, like, get... Ugh, it doesn't matter. Just go here. Just go here. Apart from the cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. All the way around, please. And then let's just go and fight their general. We're kind of not really on the uh, town square now, either, are we? You guys fire in there. And it's just a big, big fight fest now. It's quite good. This poor unit's getting a bit shredded. Right, boys. Well, we probably were losing a few there to uh, to the to the towers, which is a bit annoying. But oh well, we're going for the big charge. Oh, that's just shredded them. That has really shredded them. Let's come out. 
Bang, bang, bang. Oh, brutal. Dismounted general's getting shredded. Come out, boys. I think that's everyone. There we are. Oh, hello, face. Hello, face again. Nice. I mean, in the end, I just got impatient. We could have min-maxed that a lot more, but... Yeah, it's fine. This army's going to do well for quite a while against the Galatians, I feel. Although the Celtic rosters are strong, I think this army's stronger with all the experience. So, I'll see you back on the battlefield, guys. Here we are. Right, let's, uh, let's enslave. It's quite a nice minus city that we have here. It's still got the, the Seleucid recruitment. Well, that's pretty interesting. We must have had it from the start. I'm quite happy with the trying to Bellinus. Can we actually upgrade that? No. Uh, well, let's delete it then. If we can't upgrade it, we will delete it. Uh, it's got a Colony 1 Celtic, which we can't delete. But it's also got a Colony 1 Greek, but it is Anatolian. <laughs> um... It's, it's converting to Greek, though, now. Good. But mainly probably because we've got people in there. Right, let's have a look at seeing whether we can get those guys in there. They're still happy as well. Let's go. Oh, not anymore. So I wonder whether moving these boys across will help. Just about. And are we happy here? We are. Good. Right, then let's see whether we can actually move straight on. Straight on to another minor city, Gordion. There we are. And Dragoras the Handsome, the uh, guy who made our... So we've got to, we've got to remember that. Who made our reforms, who brought the reforms to all of us. What a glorious man. They do have a nice little army here and an army there, but I don't mind. I'd quite like to fight the Celts out on the map, to be honest. That'd be quite fun we also got this battle over here. Now, I really don't want to play this one because it's literally just that. So, they killed 210, but I don't think that's a worry. We enslaved, but they're still pretty unhappy. Uh, so, I doubt we'll be able to get away with this. Oh, really not. So, we're going to have to wait until we get all these boys across. To garrison them. I'm surprised it's so unhappy. It's probably based on... Yeah, unrest. Culture penalty as well. Because they are Greek and not Western... Uh, Eastern Hellenic. I believe that's what we are, right? Yeah, we're Eastern Hellenic. So, they just have... I'm assuming these are all Greek. Yeah, just standard Greek. I think when these are repaired, though, they should be okay. We'll also get the roads in there straight away. Over here. That should uh, that should help everything out. Right. 81,000 we're making now. Quite a lot of cash. Uh, pretty happy with that. Where were we recruiting, like, garrisons from? Was it... It wasn't there, was it? It was, like... Yeah, it's over here. So we're still going to keep doing that. Keep recruiting some more garrisons. Uh, so we can fill the garrisons on the frontier. Because these are places, like we've talked about before, that are going to be very, very upset with us. Um, so, yeah. We also need a garrison in here somehow. Which we are sending garrison across. Do have some mercenary Galatian Thorakitai in this army. Oh, this army is it's pretty darn damaged, isn't it? We were sending... Yeah, those boys were uh, have come back for retraining. So I'm wondering now whether we send like if we just send this whole army back for retraining will that be enough i mean we've still got this army here that can go out and fight it's definitely healthy enough for that this army though is just so brutally damaged now we can send them with the general but how upset are they going to get oh oh yeah yeah <laughs> Quite considerably upset, I think you could say. <laughs> Have we got any other generals around this general vicinity? If you see what I've done there. Uh, yeah, we do. Just so that they'll move a bit faster. Well, you. So, you guys, let's come. We've got to go all the way back 
to Sardis or Pergamon to retrain these boys. Um, which is all the way over here. Uh, yeah, let's go to Sardis. I believe we can uh, retrain from there. Where are you? This guy. Yeah. Oh, you can actually go quite far. Get in the army, and then we are going to Sardis. So now it's a lot quicker, which is good. <laughs> but yeah, we are upgrading some of these places to be recruitment hubs, aren't we? I mean, these guys can recruit the Chal... Crisis uh, Crisis speeders, but not the Agira speeders or the Hypastus yet, because it's only a minor city. Um, so yeah, what about over here? Yeah, we just really can't train much, can we? Well, that's fine. We need a uh, maybe a forward recruitment hub when we get the next large city, which Zella is a large city, Amesia is a large city. Some of these places are all large cities, so. We can make one of these a recruitment hub as well, because it is generally quite far away from our nearest recruitment hub, which is over there. Antioch as well is not too bad, but... Fact. Would you guys be better going to Antioch? What's that? One, two, three turns. How quickly? Just two to go to Antioch. What can we actually train here? Can we train the Agira Speeders? No, not yet. We don't have the building. Yeah, we don't have the royal barracks. So, unfortunately, we will have to go back to Sardis and Pergamon. So, yeah. That's fine, though. This is what we have to do when you're at this point in the campaign, guys. Lots of management of your troops. That sort of thing. Uh, but it's fine. That's what we like to do. So, yeah. Good. Yeah, Pontus has a city there. I'm surprised they've actually not attacked us yet, which, yeah, is kind of mad. But fair play. They haven't yet, so <laughs> that is good. That is very, very good. Um, but yeah, we, we are making some serious, serious cash now, aren't we? Absolute fortune. Oh, yes. Oh, what's this? Crapadocia. Oh, they wanted to bribe someone. Why? <laughs> Dickheads. Right, where are you? You're all the way up here. Cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. Right. Civil disorder in lots of places, once again. 60%. How have you got to 60%? Uh, oh, we've actually got... Yeah, we've got the, the solution recruitment hub here, but with, there's no military building. So that's always not fantastic. Um, yeah, you instantly have gone to 60% now. That's not ideal. You were where we were recruiting these boys. So I wonder if we go to here. Let's get our boys in there. And then... If we go one of you into there, whether it'll save it. I mean, it's on 70% now, so that's fine. Oh, we still have lots of this. Uh, Mazaka. Wait, Mazika's fine. Why Why are you so unhappy? Um, so I'm thinking if we got two in there. And we go for two over here. Although they will be waiting a bit longer. So we might have to rebalance that at some point. You guys will then be able to leave, maybe. You guys go around that way as well. In fact, no. You go there. And we'll send... It's a bit laggy today, isn't it? I don't know what's going on. My computer must just be struggling. See, look at that lag. Serious lag. Uh, and then this army, yeah, you're going to go all the way back to Pergamon, unfortunately. Only going to take two more turns, though, so that's good. Right, Pecorus. You're fine as well. I don't know why you're rioting. Melatine should be fine. Well, first of all, let's rebuild all that. Oh, here we didn't rebuild either at Mazaka. Uh, Pessinus. Melatine, we've just done that. Harmosia. It's going to be fine after this building gets built. And then a Naza boss. Let's rebuild that. And honestly don't know why you've got so upset all of a sudden. Let's try and build that in there. And then we might build the execution square if it's still bad. 
So Babylon has grown. Yes, fantastic. Uruk has also grown. I've had two people die. Oh, it might. This might be the reason why we're having governors dying all over the place because they're all too old now. Uh, right. Well, you go into Kaunos. And then let's go Akilos as well. Akilos is fine. We've already got a replacement there. Good. I've had more family tragedies. They're all going to die in big waves, really, in generations. Uh, there was also here that needed upgrading. Tyana. Oh, we've already built that. Um, what about these? Did we build these? I don't believe so. So Samaria, get that in. And then Alexandria, Carmania. That'll really help with public order because we can actually start building better and bigger public order buildings. So now let's go back to the list, see what we can build. Uh, no, before that, let's do all our, our military moves because we might, might need to retrain troops, all that sort of thing. So, yeah, what are these armies looking like? If I just merge all of these... Um, yeah, that's what it's turned out like. So get in there. And you boys... Can go join in here as well. Nope. Or just stay there for now. And then we'll probably organize them next turn. Oh, no. When uh, when these guys get there. Oh, we're going to have some big armies here now. This is good. This is really good. We're definitely going to have at least two. Two nicely big armies. You guys get retrained. Ready. To fight, which should be really good fun. Uh, yeah, we need the Greek things in here so we can actually start recruiting troops there. But I can't wait to get some of these cities uh, ready to go uh, as well. So that'll be so good. Right, we've got another spy. So let's uh, bring you over this way. Look at the trade around here. It's just crazy. Uh, you are going to come up here so you can kind of see all three of these. And see what they're doing. They've got an army there. Pretty fat army as well. Nice. And another one. They're going to have quite a few of these. Uh, Bactrian Theropoi. Quite decent. Just standard Theropoi really though. Um, right. So we've done that. Got Galatians over here. Let's uh, auto resolve that. We don't need to. Uh, only 18 kills they got. It's enslave. Even after that they're still unhappy. So let's rebuild. What's this one? Uh, we can't upgrade that, so let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of the Galatian recruitment. And, yeah, we've also got this temple, which is a quite a good one. It's just unfortunate we can't actually upgrade it. So we'll go straight in with the Shrine to Hera to help with the, the uh, public order. Over here as well, we'll go for the second Shrine to Hera uh, to keep them happy. And once we've got some good garrison troops, again, we'll be, uh, we'll be, we'll be peachy. We'll be ready to go. I'm hoping we can actually get all the way across here. Doesn't look like it. I just really hope we don't get attacked. That'd be so annoying. By some pirates or something. <laughs> Nobody expects the pirates. The Spanish Inquisition pirates. Nobody expects, expects them at all. Right. Well, you guys are coming up here still. So, uh, yeah. That's good. You guys get up there. Right, we've sorted out there. We just need you to keep on coming. And the rest of the troops in Anatolia are kind of stuck right now. Uh, what do we do with this Galatian settlement, though? Do we... Got a spy in there as well, so that's part of the problem. <sighs> yeah, we need a garrison here. We really need a garrison. They've got a settlement here, the Galatians. Oh, it's there. That's an interesting one. That's right there. So, how do you even get to that? So, this is Pontus. So, we're going to have to start battering on Pontus next. The Galatians, I don't think the Galatians are going to have that much. So, let's get... Oh, my God. There's not many places to cross this river, is there? Get you down this way. Unless you're... No, you're not our spy, are you? Nope. Uh, but yeah. I think we're, think we're all right. The 
Glaciers, so they got one, two, three settlements left. Is that it? That might just be it. So I don't think they're going to be around for too much longer. Then it's time to fight Pontus. And that's going to be quite a big war, I would say. Are we recruiting in Sardis right now? No. Uh, Zistaphoroi. Don't really want Zistaphoroi right now. So let's get that uh, population growth. What else do we have? We just have Chalka Speeder. So at the minute, Pergamon is really the best chance we have. So what we need to do is start upgrading some of these large cities around them. To be recruitment hubs as well. Because Sardis, unfortunately, has been recruited so much that it has a really low population. So what we're going to do, we're going to probably take Ephesus and build a standard temple. Uh, standard uh, temple? Standard <laughs> city barracks. And then we're going to take Smyrna. And we're going to build... Uh, we are building the barracks. Uh, we're going to take Trelaeus and start building stables. So one of them can be... You know, horses. One can be uh, not horses. Infantry. <laughs> so, right. Let's end the turn again. See what happens. Uh, we've got a lot of people moving around, haven't we? But that's fine. That's cool. We can uh, see exactly what's going on. We've got loads of spies in there now. Guiding the way for our men. And I think, I honestly think Bactria is not going to be too much... They've got some big armies. Oh, here we are. I literally said that. <laughs> and Bactria attacked. Great. Thank you, Bactria. You are glorious in nature. But we shall kill you. But anyway, uh, we've got you guys. We'll accept you. I didn't even look at his age then, honestly. Should have done. You're 31. How are we looking then for governors around here? I think we're looking pretty good. Anyone really old? No. Oh, God. You're zero, zero, zero. Wow. Wow. Not what we need. Um, I mean, that seems like quite a good city. Making 2,000. Uh, that's making 4,000. Jesus. Uh, yeah, so I think you were over here, weren't you? Well, let's get it up to uh, Antiochi Migdonia. Uh, still waiting for some more thoughts on what we are going to name the Island of Heroes. Uh, but I think we are going to name one of them after Antiochus the Builder. So what it'll be named An uh, Antiochi Oikodomos, I believe. Uh, so I'll just need to check the spelling on that, but we'll do it uh, next time as well. Asper Bota just suddenly got v got very upset. I'm imagining that's because of a spy. I mean, there's no way we can actually do anything to, to sort that out right now. Same with the boss. Like, why? Like, 30% unrest just randomly. That's really annoying. Just come out of nowhere as well. Um, right, let's build that in there just to keep them happy. Everything else repaired should be okay. Right, uh, Acadia Heraclea has upgraded. I don't even rem remember ever building at this settlement, so... <laughs> well done, you've got yourself uh, a new upgrade, my friends. Oh, we've got someone come of age here. Perdicas. We've got Theodotas over here in Iasonion. Got loads of people in the north getting uh, getting upgraded. Uh, I think you go to I think you go and govern Alexandria Susia, my friend, because that's always been a bit of a problem for us. And then we have K Koarilos, which, if I'm not mistaken, is this. Hmm, is this not the guy that we were going to make our new faction heir? So if I go to the family tree, we need to go a long way left. Uh, I'm Fion, the engineer. Here we are, Antiochus the angry. So I thought we were going to make his nephew, but it's Diodotus, isn't it? Because that's a good name. I mean, Ifestionas is fine, but he's not going to be a general. 
Could also make Polly Percon or Kawari Loss. How old is Antiochus the Angry? He is 51. We've got to wait seven more years. Eight more years. So hopefully he lives to be more than 60, but I don't know. Who currently is the faction heir, though? That's that's the main thing. Um, I mean, Achaeus the Elder. No, it's Lucas. We went Antiochus. Then we went to Antiochus the Builder. And then Antiochus the Angry. I mean, they all did live quite a long time. Who now is the faction heir, though? Abderos the Thinker. Which is... Uh, what? Why does it just say wife? It doesn't have someone there. I don't know why you're the faction heir, honestly. Uh, but that's fine. We'll, we'll sort that out at some point. Faction announcements. Did we go through all the people that came of age then, though? Yeah, Coerilios. You're only 52. We've got someone governing there. 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 Down here we don't. So let's get you down there, my friend. You can go and do that. That's fine. Lots of campaign management this turn. But that's fine. This is what I really like to do. So... <laughs> So what we're going to do for a bit. I think this is the place where we can upgrade. But we shall see. Yep, we can retrain there. Which is great. Oh, no. We can retrain at Thebes, actually. Let's go Thebes. But can we retrain the archers? That's the main thing. No, we cannot. Ah, great. Oh, well. We, we might be able to wait for that anyway and get some more troops uh, during how many troops do we need we need three and looking at it we need some more archers we need two archers and that's what we don't have right now <laughs> uh we could also get some let's get some thoracite they're quite good uh right so in the north we've moved everyone not quite yet now we have moved everyone apart from these boys so you guys come forward. Right. Next turn, we will organize all these troops into their constituent armies. It looks like we have about three-ish good full stacks there. Um, over here, what are we doing? You're going into there to make them happy. Now, let's see whether we can leave here. I very, very much doubt it. But I... Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> 57? That's not actually too bad. Well, while we're here... Uh, no, I don't think we're going to be able to leave Antigonos there, to be honest. Um, I mean, 57%. Really not that bad. Get the execution square. That's only 10% law, though. I'll bring it up to 67%. Uh, I mean, we can also do the Odeon, which is only 5% happiness, but we can actually make the games. So, I mean, Antiochus just... Yeah, we're just going to have to leave Antiochus in there for a second. For like another turn or two, probably. And that's it. Yes. Right, you. Let's bring you across. Let's see what's going on over here. Armies galore. That's what's happening. <laughs> You're coming into here. You can go man that. What's going on over this way? We're still 72% with that massive garrison. You're moving down for retraining. Which is good. And yeah, we should probably honestly get training garrisons in here as well. Because we were training garrison... Over this way, aren't we? Not quite. We're going to have to go through all these at some point again. Was it here? Yes, it was. So that's just a bit too far away. Uh, and we don't have a garrison for in here yet. 
And one person is not going to suffice. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a problem. Minus city, minus city. And they've got another one in there. I think that's about it, honestly, for the Galatians. So we'll probably have them done very soon. Right, we've got 100,000 gold to deal with right now. 100,000, guys. So this has been quite a sort of a building up episode, I've got to say. Um, but yeah, Antiochi, Mcdonia, get that spice road. Always makes a load of cash, so I don't even need to check it really. Let's get some extra trade income in the city. Tarsos is a little bit unhappy, so let's build the sewer, uh, the baths. Alusa, let's build population. Actually, no, let's build the winery, vineyard. Sorry. Uh, let's go the Agora in there. Let's go Hecatompelos. Let's go there. Zadricata. I'm thinking we build another another shipyard there because we can actually trade quite well in that area. Alexandria Troas. Let's build the standard market. Uh, Seleucia Kali Kadnos. Let's build the trader. Daskilion. Mm. Let's build some anti corruption. So, like the execution square. Loranda. Well, let's build the sewers because it looks very unhappy right now. Uh, Kadoi. Kadoi, Kadoi, Kadoi. Let's get the communal farming nice and cheap. Uh, same thing over here. Antiochi Mayandros. Let's build the market. Kiros, let's build, say, the trader. Uh, Lydokia Libanos, let's build the public baths, keep them happy, and also uh, get some more population growth. Same thing over here for the Agora. Apamea Styria, let's again build the, the public baths, keep them healthy. We don't want plagues going around our empire, guys, do we? Not at all. Not at all. So, we don't have a governor here, so no point building the academy apart from the law, but... I think we'll go for the Shrine to Hera down here. Helio, Polis, Syria. Let's go for the Agora. And Baroya. Let's go for the Agora as well. Lots of Agoras going in. Lots of markets. Let's go for crop rotation there. Sarisa. Let's go for the crop rotation as well. Get a bit of extra population growth in some of these places. It's going to be so useful in the long run. Uh, Nikephorion. Let's go for the sewers for that population growth and uh, happiness. Uh, Hierapolis, thinking probably the extra temple, Apamea Siticane, let's go, the aqueduct is pretty cheap, so let's build that, really cheap, nice, I didn't realise it was that cheap, so, well, it was helped by a governor, apparently, <laughs> but yeah, quite cheap, good, extra population growth for not that much money, which is great, uh, yeah, let's go for another aqueduct, Nippur, Let's go. More aqueducts. Aqueducts for everyone. Uh, Bertha. Let's go for the irrigation. Uh, Gauzana. Let's go for the market. And Akrabai. Let's go for the public baths. Artakana. Let's go for the trader. Uh, Mytilene. Hmm. Mytilene. Mytilene is a large city as well, but it's not a huge city. And it's on an island, so that doesn't help. So, I would consider making it into a recruitment hub if it wasn't on an island. But because it's on an island, a shipwright's definitely going to help. Antiochi Persis, let's go for the baths again. Uh, Harmosia, let's go for the crop rotation. Chiropolis Caducia. You're all the way over there. You're not actually trading with anyone because you're not close enough. I think paved roads is probably the option there. Apamea Rajiani. Let's go for the crop rotation. And then Iasonion. Let's go for the sewers. Pasar Gardai. Let's go for that communal farming. Antioche Media Medias. Let's go for the sewers. I think that's us done. We're actually building in a lot of places. But as you can see down here, all this needs filling. We've got all this filled now with 100,000. So we've done about halfway. So it's about, yeah, if we wanted to build in every place, we're looking at about 200,000, aren't we? Which is quite, quite a significant amount, to be honest. Into Kiros you go, only making 900 gold. These settlements here are kind of just neglected. I haven't really done much. And they could actually make a lot of money with the amount of places they're trading with. Uh, but yeah, we should probably 
get upgrading them at some point. As you can see, quite a bit of trade here. Loads of trade here, which is why it's making loads of money. Uh, and along here as well. Uh, and you can see the amount of trade in our home regions. Absolutely loads. But uh, over here, just quite, quite stationary. Not that much really, is there? So we need to kind of... Yeah, down here, not much either. So we're going to have to start upgrading all these roads, that sort of thing, up to paved roads. And that is something that we need to do across our whole empire. So that's always good. But anyway, I think we're going to leave that there for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. We've taken a few Galatian settlements. Not a huge amount of battles today, guys, of course. Um, but that's not too much of a worry. I forgot about these. Um, but we'll do that and we'll uh, sort that out next episode. Uh, but yeah, you guys get in the port. But yeah, we've uh, not done too many battles, but we have expanded again. And we are making now a serious, serious amount of cash, 82,000. We've still got to keep on going with that because, like I say, you're never safe with your cash until you can build in every single settlement. That's the ideal, uh, where you get to the point where you're just going on to the uh, construction report and just replacing the buildings that have been built uh, with new buildings. So, uh, yeah, but we're not quite at that point yet. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you all again on the next video.